Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 24, part 13 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we began our deliveries of grapes to the Champagne Factory here in Champaign, Illinois, on where the white wine will be soon be delivered to the town of Jackson, Missouri. As, right now, we s our first loads of cigars have arrived in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and we still have a bit of a long way to go before everything until all the states have received their required commodities. So in this episode, we're going to focus primarily on that, as well as improving some of the other services on the map. Ah, great. This train that was supposed to carry 364 units of peanuts now only has a unit of supply for, for rice. Ugh. Well, at least the corn train might be able to make up for this. That is, if it's still loaded. And since there's only going to be one load of meat now, it has to be just basically train B break meat. Oh, there actually is no corn on that train. No wonder. Well, at least my other commodities are starting to fill up pretty well. I mean, I already delivered over 420 units of grapes, so by this point, there's 50, over 50 units of wine being ready to be picked up. Which, basically, if we look at the map, let's see, where is that train of wine? Train U1, it is located here. It's on the mainline track. Actually, I think I'm gonna change direction, add a slip switch there for a little bit, and just get this train turned around. Because we really need to get this wine delivered and get the rest of these commodities shipped. And my reefers have started to basically get weathered. As much as I like some of these mods, some of them get weathered a little too fast for me. So, I'll have to basically put them in high maintenance again. But, cool thing is, we have over 144 vehicles. With the most being trains, obviously. Now then, let's see. Where is that ship that's traveling along the river? Oh, ship 2... And where's ship one? Oh, it hasn't even been low. It has 300 units of sugarcane instead of 300 units of cotton. Great. Get which where is that? Tra oh, our first train of the train of steel has arrived. But well, where's that train of lumber? We need lumber products. Well, we just need loads of lumber. Oh, this train is nearly full to the brim with lumber. This should make a pretty nice profit. All the while, we're starting to slowly eat away at our debt, thankfully. But we still have a long, long way to go. Train to end is still loading up with cigars. There's no tobacco leaves in its production facility, at least right now. This train was supposed to pick up a load of that, but it's still waiting at a signal. Speaking of which, I actually have a set of, set of signals here at the junction. It's blocking the mainline switches. Alright, that should basically fix the problem. And there goes my iron ore tray on the most crookedest crossover I have ever bloody seen. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, one of the trains is picking up some corn to take down to New Orleans. This farm is still producing corn and needs to be delivered to the meat farm. Let's actually have a look at a couple of my express trains and see how they're doing. Whoa, 201 passengers? This train has just picked up passengers from Baton Rouge. This train is going to earn a lot of money. And it's earned over $10.1 million. 
So if this Western Express train that goes through some of the bigger cities has basically earned a lot and a lot of money. There's not many for the middle route. That's because it doesn't go straight into Chicago. That'll change eventually. Let's see how much this train has earned. 5.15 million dollars. Jeez, that's a lot of moolah for an express. I'm so glad I got this engine. Though, we might be able to get a new express engine pretty soon, but that will take time. All the while, my trains are still producing a lot of commodities as well as transporting them. We got 392 million left on our uh, loan. Which won't take too long to basically pay off now. Still lumber being produced. That lumber train is still making its way. It's heading through St. Louis. Then it'll head through Peoria. And then into Chicago. Via the new Chicago freight sightings. And our oil loads are starting to be produced as well. Thanks in part to the arrival of the sugar cane. Speaking of which, is there another delivery of sugar cane coming? No. The train's on its way back, but the cargo got reset to cotton instead of sugarcane. There's a lot of coal being produced, but no loads of iron, and the iron ore is currently being loaded up. At least, however, our factories here in St. Louis are producing a pretty good amount of money. Oh, Illinois! We got our Illinois task done by delivering oil to basically the townsfolk. Which, uh, oh yeah, it actually, this train did actually deliver oil. Sweet. All we just still need to do is just deliver loads of machinery, cigars, and white wine, as well as clothing. Fortunately enough, that train of clothing should... Hopefully that train of clothing is still available. Oh, no, it's not. I guess it's going back to pick up another full load. We need at least about... Four, 12 more units, I believe. Yeah, 12 more units of clothing. And there's already 15 produced. Speaking of which, I realized that I haven't even replaced my trolleys yet. First of all, the first four trolleys here will be replaced by these new Isle, Isle of Man Manx electric trolley cars. And these ones, they could be replaced by the San Diego electric trolleys. Alright, New Orleans now has a very profitable trolley system now with new pro new trolley system cars running along the streets our company score is at now 47 22 points for maximum vehicle age that's quite surprising and now we're to 350 million i'm surprised on how well we're basically paying all of this off our long-distance freight trains and passenger trains are basically making a lot of money for us. On the contrary, I don't think we'll even have a chance to basically deliver loads of uh, stone. So, the service serving the stone quarry in Springfield will have to be cancelled. I know, it's kind of a sh shock, but I just feel like I should just stick with the ones I already have for now. Three hundred and eleven grapes. They're still producing more at the factory. This train has over two hundred and sixty-four units of wine, which will now just take its load to Jackson. Let's see. We still need to produce machinery. The lumber should have had arrived by now into well Chicago. Forty-three point one million. Lord. That's a lot of money. 
And if I quickly do this, we can get our loan back down to a modest, hopefully, 316 million. Now all we just need to do is to wait for this train to go back to Chicago to pick up the loads of lump machinery and bring them to, well, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Let's see. Tennessee is still going. We still got wine is on the way. Machinery will soon be on the way. Cigars will soon be delivered. And clothing will soon be delivered. As the train will make its way back up the line towards the factory. And hopefully we'll start producing more clothing. Besides, the new mainline railroad here has basically shut down because, if you've seen in the previous episode, there's a small problem here at the station. All these trains are stuck in gridlock because of the track situation up here. Oh! What the? Oh. It worked a little bit. I did not know you could actually do that with the double slip switches. But yeah, as you can see, the supposed track to allow trains to go this way is now completely unusable because there's no switch going in that way. The track... The track building is basically really bad now. And the thing is, there is no way a train can... All these switches are basically completely gridlocked. And all the trains are now all stuck. Even the passing loop switches are locked in place. And there's no signals here to allow trains to enter and exit the station because of its short length. So all in all, we basically had shut down my rival railroad. But, however, the nearby river's operation is still going on. But it won't be for much longer. Let's see. I'm still waiting for tobacco. The train has over 420 units of, of tobacco leaves ready to be processed. This express train has 84 passengers. And the station of Jackson, Missouri is still waiting for more passengers to arrive. See how much this express train is made because in the course of the game it did had to make enough money to basically cover its operational costs at some points but not a whole bunch so it's a hit and so it's not a very profitable service from the look of it it just needs to carry more passengers in order for it to make it profitable as the western route is basically still popular because of its direct connection and let's see what about the eastern route how has that train fared well it has it's carrying over 104 passengers up to Chicago and there are plenty of them at the next few stations along the route however more of them are traveling back east well more down south to the city of New Orleans this way but at least, however, there are still tons of people wanting to ride these trains. If I could just keep my services going, I could just slowly be able to make back the money I have spent. Because now, we're now to nearly $255 million. That will basically get our company back on its feet momentarily in just a little bit. This train made over $9.90 million in delivering loads of tobacco here to the cigar factory. And let's see, 49 cigars. So that train will have enough cigars to basically complete that contract for the state of Arkansas. Speaking of which, where's that train from clothing? We're just going to turn it around and get that shipment of clothing into Murray now. And where is that train of machinery? Let's see. Oh, 
It's just crossing over the bridge that heads into the western route. It just needs to travel a little bit further. But by the time it arrives, there'll be tons of machinery ready to be picked up. Okay. We got... Wine is also on the way as well, if we can look at the map. Let's see, where's that train of wine? Ah, there it is. It's heading in through the city of Brenda. So, I believe, once all these commodities have been delivered, we might be able to earn enough money to finally take down our rivals. So, to save time, I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in just a moment. Once the last few loads of commodities have been delivered to our final destinations. And we're back. With all the other states' commodities now delivered, our last commodity for Memphis, Tennessee, machinery is now arriving into the freight station. With that, we have completed all the needed tasks for every state. You have managed to build a transport empire in eight states from Chicago to New Orleans, despite the fierce competition. Your final quest, overtake your competitor. Save enough money and go to the state capital of Louisiana, the state where your adventure began, to formalize the takeover. And as you can also see, we are finally debt free after so many years of running at a, with a large loan. Anyway, let's head back to Louisiana as here in Baton Rouge, we now have the ability to take over our competitors for over for $200 million, which we will do right now. This part of the United States hosted three World's Fairs in 20 years. You have managed to build a transfer, <laughs> transport network in eight states and take, and take over your competitor. From now on, all lines are in your hands. Alright! That should be, that's basically it. We are done with this scenario. And as you can see, there's a lot of lines going on. Train 20 is having problems. No path. Well, thing is, we're done with these routes that they are busy. These train routes. As these need to be removed. Get rid of the past get rid of the train routes. And as for the shipping routes, let's see. All these routes can basically go. Except for the ones for our company. All my vehicle these new vehicles are all in mediocre condition. We we'll sell them off. And that should basically be it. As no, now with no route available to travel to their destinations, all the passengers will now travel via my transportation company to reach their particular destinations. As you can see, the station in Kankakee is starting to build up quite well. As now people can use my services to get to where they need to go. Similar to Chicago, as now people can exit the station and walk up the route and enter the station building here. All I could say is it's good to be the king of transport now. As with no competition, all these lines are fully mined and my company will be prosperous for years to come. As even though our company building is still as it is, I'm happy to say that this was a very well done mission. So, with that out of the way, let's head to the main menu and see what our next mission will be. In 1919, the Australian government... The Transvaal Republic was founded by descendants of Dutch colonists after gaining independence from England. President Kruger has decided that a railway to the ocean should be constructed that does not pass through hostile British territory. Which we'll be doing in the next episode. Mankind is constantly So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play a Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. 
And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!